Good afternoon. Um, welcome to our session entitled Current Controversies in Melanoma. My name is William Scharfman. I'm the Director of Cutaneous Oncology at the Sidney Kimmel Comprehensive Cancer Center at Johns Hopkins Hospital. It's my privilege to moderate this session on melanoma for the Virtual Congress on Oncology Care. We've entitled this session um, Current Controversies in Melanoma. The first controversy we're going to talk about is the sentinel node biopsy. I've asked uh, my colleague, Dr. Julie Lang, who is Associate Professor of Surgery, Dermatology, and Oncology at Johns Hopkins to discuss the sentinel node. So why are we so focused on the regional node basin? Um, management of melanoma has always included interest in the regional nodes, and for over 100 years, surgeons have worried about the lymph nodes and taken them out, and today we still worry about the lymph nodes. And one reason for that is we're, very, we're quite interested in the node positive group. We know the node positive group of patients is a high risk group of patients, um, but they're a treatable group of patients. And so we know that while many of those patients will ultimately die of their disease, a substantial minority will actually do well over time. And I show this, um, this uh, figure because I think it shows some interesting things that I try to keep in mind with this group of patients, which now seems obvious, but I think it underpins a lot of what we do with patients. 